It's January 11th, and this is what my garden is looking like. And these pots have some strawberry plants in them uh, that I separated from my main strawberry bed. So I'm going to bring one of these inside, let it warm up, and maybe later today, maybe tomorrow, I'm going to try to transplant it into a cracky hydroponic system and see how that goes. I've never done this before, so this is an experiment. Okay, I'm going to bring this inside now. Okay, I carried this pot into the house and I just set it in the basement inside of my utility sink. And I'm going to leave it here until this is thawed out because right now it's frozen solid. And I need it to be thawed so that I can gently separate the roots, clean each plant, and set it in the Kratky hydroponic setup. Okay, so we're just going to be patient and let this sit here. Check on it later today. If it's ready, we'll do it then. If not, we'll check on it tomorrow morning. Okay? See you in a bit. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm going to pull each individual plant out and try to preserve the roots and clean them as much as possible so that when they're sitting in the uh, hydroponic tank, there's no extra dirt or sediment in there. I want the roots to be as clean as possible before I do that. So I'm going to separate a few more plants and pick the four best because I have four spaces in my current um, tank that I use to grow these things in. And just gently reach down, feel for the roots, and separate them. These plants, they grow roots, and they grow a runner, and then they root down and grow a new plant in that spot. So they're kind of all attached. And this one, I'm not sure. We'll see. That's nice. It's the middle of January and I miss being out in the garden. I love having my hands in the dirt. I love watching the plants grow. And I love the fresh food that I get out of the garden. So every winter I have a little project and I try new things. And it looks like two more. Beautiful roots. These are Ozark Everbearing Strawberries. I bought them two years ago and they are prolific. They grow like wild, they're almost like weeds. They took over a good part of my garden last year. And they made a, a few strawberries too. That was the first full season that I had them. I expect more in the years to come from them. I didn't count all the plants. I, I'm guessing there's about 10 or 12. And they all have very nice root systems on them. It's too bad I can only pick four to grow inside here. So now I'm going to take a sprayer 
and try and clean off these roots as best I can. Okay, I got the roots pretty well rinsed. Uh, you can see what one of them looks like here. And this is a sprayer that I used. I got this course on eBay. I use it to water the seedlings and things like that when I start seeds in the springtime. And now I'm just going to go through each plant and cut off all of the non-living parts, the runners and the dead leaves. And I just want to keep the green. And then I'll take a look at them again and see what looks the best. I'm going to take the net pot and slide each plant in and I'm going to try to grab a couple roots through the bottom just to get them started because these are going to set in the water and the roots are going to grow out of this net pot down into the, into the nutrient solution. And when I go upstairs and set these in, in the growing pot, you'll see what that looks like. Okay, I have these potted up in the net pots, and they're ready to go into the uh, hydroponic solution. So what I try to do is gently, and it takes a little bit of wiggling and patience, try to get a couple roots to come out through the bottom and sides of these net pots. And then I use hydroton balls to support the plant as it's growing. So I've got one two, three, this is the small guy, and four. And now we're going to go set them in the solution. Here's the strawberry plants. I dropped them in the hydroponic solution last night. And when I woke up this morning, look what I find. My cats eat all my plants. They make me crazy. But let's see what it does. Let's see if it makes a comeback. Okay, so here's how this goes. These roots extend, grow downward into the nutrient solution. And as they grow down and the nutrient solution drops, portions of the roots will be exposed to air and they will absorb air for the plants. The portion of the roots that's under the water, under the nutrient solution, will absorb the nutrients. And there's no need for an air pump or circulation. This is a non-circulating hydroponic system. I've grown lettuce this way and it grows great very lush, no wilting, tastes great. I've never tried anything like strawberries. This is a trial run. We'll see what happens. I dropped these in here last night. So we'll come back in a few days and see how they're doing, okay? I'll do a follow-up in a couple days. Today is January 22nd. I started these on January 13th in this Kratky hydroponic setup. And we have quite a bit of new growth. Well, they look very stable. They look really healthy. Right now I have them underneath a couple of LED grow lights in my kitchen. I'm gonna take them out, turn off these lights, and we'll take a look at what we have. All right, I brought the plants into the living room on the coffee table so we can take a close look at them in some natural light. All in all, they look pretty good. They look healthy and robust. 
There's a little bit of new growth here. Every plant right in the center starting to develop new leaves and new growth that wasn't there. This is the plant that was the smallest of the bunch. And uh, in fact, not only was it small, but after I planted it, you can see where one of my cats, who always likes to eat my plants, had a little snack. You can see here, a couple more leaves missing here, over here. But other than that, they look great. And a week ago when I planted these, you remember that there was one or two roots that I was able to pull through the bottom of these net pots into the, into the nutrient solution. So now, after eight days or nine days, check this out. Those roots are growing vigorously. And I think once the roots get well established, then more energy is going to come up to the rest of the plant. Let's see this little guy. So even this little one is making some great root growth right now. I think this big root in the front, I think that was uh, maybe the only root that I was able to pull through in the beginning. So... We'll see how these go. I don't know if I'm gonna get any strawberries. I hope I do. That would be really cool. Look at that. That's amazing root growth. Just a few days. Let's see this one. And again. Not as good as that last one, but still very nice. So I think I'm going to go ahead and upload the rest of this video, whatever I have so far, and I'll do an update video maybe in uh, two more weeks and we'll see where we're at. If anything exciting changes, if I get any berry growth, I'll post the video sooner. Otherwise, I'm going to put this up and I'll do a follow-up video in a few weeks. Okay? If anyone has any suggestions, if they like this, uh, if there's anything else they'd like to see, leave me a comment, ask me a question. Uh, like I said, I'm learning. This is kind of a new experiment. I've grown lettuce this way once or twice, some basil also once or twice, but these a week ago were frozen out in my garden. I brought them inside, thawed them out, separated the plants, cleaned up the roots, and here we are now. So I'll be doing a follow-up video in a few weeks, okay? Thank you.